I placed some bread and beer for this person in the harness room. Sir. Have you now? Hmm? Place some cold chicken and carrot for this person in the study. Sir? See if you can find some clothes for Mr. Treherne. And I imagine it would be a trifle generous. One of Lord George's would be nearer the mark. This gentleman? Yes, will you hurry? Hurry! Mr. Humphrey. I dare say I must apologize because I have the least idea who you were. What you want now is a stiff glass of brandy, huh? With your feminine dry clothes. I'm very awfully obliged. That's all. Sure. Come in. I think I'd better explain that I hold the rank of Lieutenant in His Majesty's Royal Navy. Oh. I was seconded to duty from the Home Office. I'm afraid I've been at some pains to conceal my identity. No doubt with good reason, though. I still have the least notion what it's all about, but swallow some brandy before you tell me. You know, I've always had a great admiration for the service. And you Collingwood, well, fine fellow. All fine fellows. A trifle desiccated, perhaps. One can't have everything. Well, <laughs> now, what is all this business? Uh, smuggling? No, it's much worse than that, sir. Wrecking. Deliberate, organized wrecking. Good heavens, not here, though. Yes, sir. Along this coast. Always had wrecks here, you know. A very dangerous coast. Lloyd's discovered that these wrecks had one curious feature in common. Did. Drink that up. I think I'll uh, join you with the brandy. It has been uh, quite a, <coughs> an eventful morning. What uh, had these uh, wrecks in common? There were never any survivors. Uh, Mr. Traherne, if what you tell me is true, it's the most dreadful thing I've ever heard. We hear of wrecks down here, of course, Lloyd no, had consulted with the Home Office. They became convinced that these wreckers received accurate information of the movements and cargoes of ships passing this. Captain Murray wishes to say goodbye to you, sir. Would you? Would? Excuse me. Just going, Sir Humphrey. Join myself immensely. On the words for you, a prince. Goodbye, Captain. Bon voyage. Huh? Coming back again, sir. Coming again. I shall be thinking of you out there in this wind. I'm sitting over by port tonight. Huh? What? Sorry, good. Well, uh, Mr. Traherne, uh, kindly uh, continue. My researchers took me to Jamaica in. The landlord Merlin is the ringleader. That wreck last night was carried out by his men. You were actually there? No, thank heaven. I was still on probation. I helped carry the goods up afterwards. Have you, um... Have you reported all this to your superiors? No, not yet. I'm after bigger fry than just Merlin. I don't follow you. Um, you uh, said um, he was the ringleader. At Jamaica Inn, yes. But he gets his orders from outside. His information comes from outside. His thinking's done for him outside. By whom? I don't know. Merlin's own wife doesn't know. The gang don't even know. But that's the man we've got to find. Yes, Joss has called the men for tonight. There's to be another wreck. But they won't know where until they get information from their real leader. And in order to give them that information, he'll be going to the inn tonight. We must get there first. No, sir, we can't do that single-handed. If I could borrow one of your horses, I'll ride for help to the nearest garrison. Ah, yes, but that'll take time. We uh, mustn't let this fellow slip through our fingers. How's this? You and I will go to the inn at once. My groom can take a message to the garrison at Truro for you. Well, uh, take some of those. Uh, you say uh, Merlin's riffraff won't be there till later. I fancy we two can hold the fort till the military come. Well, I'm game if you are, sir. Excellent. I see this is positively exciting. Huh? Come in. Chadwick, your money or your life. No, oh, sir. I've not told Lord John. Oh, oh. Who's the commander at Truro? Uh, uh, Captain uh, Boyle. Uh, Irishman, I believe. Good fellow in a pinch. I'll write him a note. No, my dear fellow, I'll do that. Uh, you get into Lord George's britches, if you can, that is, well. To, uh, Captain, uh, Boyle, um, officer commanding, Mountain, Lisha, Truro. What shall I, um, say to him? You, uh, know uh, this style of thing? Your help is needed, Ed. 
Your, uh, help, help, yes, help, uh, is, uh, needed. That's a fact. James Chahan. Well, officer of the law, James Chahan. Wanted to investigate a number of shipwrecks contrived by the record on this coast. Got that? I can't yes, yes. He reports that the wreckers have their headquarters at Jamaica in Pengavin and has enough evidence to hang the landlord and his accomplices. Oh, really? Yeah. Miraculous fit. You put Lord George in the shade, huh? <laughs> I, I better get you a hat. Chadwick! I, 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 we, we, we must leave at once. One moment. The girl, Miss Yellen, she mustn't know about this. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, that must wait. Uh, poor thing. Evidently devoted to her relative. Well, I had no choice, Humphrey. I, I couldn't tell her the truth. Oh, uh, Chadwick, uh, will you tell Sam I want him at once? Where is he? In the kitchen, sir. Sam! Uh, you better have a warm cloak. You'll need it in this wind. Chadwick, will you get uh, Mr. Traherne the blue cloak, uh, not the one with the astrakhan collar, get him a hat, and uh, will you get me my cloak and a hat? Hmm? Oh, uh, here you are, Sam. Now, Sam, I... the as fast as you can. Deliver that to Captain Boyle of Militia Headquarters. Captain Boyle? Yes. And uh, would you uh, gallop all the way? In? Very good, sir. And uh, would you be uh, good enough to tell uh, Robbins I want my coat at once? Yes. Come along. Chadwick! Oh, thank you so much. Uh, would you uh, tell Mrs. Black... Uh, uh, to look after the young lady, and if she can persuade her to get a little sleep, uh, so much the better. Thank you so much. And will you make my excuses for me, will you? And uh, tell Lord George I'll be back for dinner. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Robbins! Where's uh, my coach? Isn't it uh, ready? The young lady came round the back and took it, sir. Oh. What? She said you would order it for her, sir. Look, anything out. Horses, quick, will you? You must come away with me now while there's time. What's happened? That man I cut down, Jem Traherne, was a law officer. No, no. He's on his way here now with Sir Humphrey. They've sent a tour off for help. Joyce. Quick, I must change this dress. Get your things together before they come. I must tell Joyce. There's no time. I tell you, I'll not leave without Joyce. Don't you understand? They know the truth. And I'm patient, so do I. This is your last chance to be free of him. Your last chance. No. He's a wrecker, a murderer. But he's my husband. Oh, Mary, you don't understand. You don't know him. Josh, she's come here to warn us. We must get away. Where's that fella? Where's Trahern? Just, they're coming for you. Traherne's a law officer. Just, we can't.